Thirsty Thursday. It's Cocktails with Cortini, sipping in sweatshirts. Now, guys, I'm mixing it up a little different tonight. No martini. We're doing a Cortini Easy Old Fashioned. And yes, we're drinking bourbon. It's a bourbon kind of week. So, I know a lot of you don't like bourbon, but for those of you who do, this is the easy way of the old fashioned. So, here we go. All you do, you pick your bourbon of choice. Tonight, I'm showing Bullet, because it's very smooth and very refreshing. Pour it over ice. I got two nips, but if you got a big bottle, do the usual, fill it three quarters full. Then, literally, well, okay, I'll switch it up a little bit for you guys tonight. I got my Bada Bing cherries. It's the only cherries I use. This is it. You can't use those cheap cherry maraschino cherry juices. It just can't happen. It's just, you can't have it. I, for years, I bought those maraschino cherries and put the juice in. And these are the answer to the perfect tasting smooth old fashioned. Just a little bit of cherry juice. Put it in the shaker full of ice. I already filled it with ice. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. That martini with cortini. Now this is gonna be over the rocks, kids. Well, on the rocks. So you don't need to shake as long. But the little bit of the bubble makes it really refreshing, okay? Then I got my gourmet glass, I call it. I only have specific glasses for specific drinks. This is my favorite. It literally says down the hatch on the inside, but it's my octopus. Pour the whole shaker in. Perfect pour. Then, you all you do, you add one of the actual cherries. Boop. I like two. Boop. And then the finishing touch. I don't use orange bitters. I use orange rock candy. Stir it in. The perfect sipping cocktail. Cheers, now make your cocktail and join me in the living room. What a week, huh? Cheers. I don't know about you guys, but this is definitely a bourbon week. Cheers. Cheers to making it to Thursday. What a week. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but you know, it's definitely that kind of week. I don't know if you all feel that way or not, but I don't know about you guys, but I am sick of doing laundry. Like literally my husband, me, my producer, the Rach, does anybody else have to shower when they get home? Like if you go out in public, like to the grocery store. So I take two showers, two showers a day. Like, Literally, my husband has us shower twice a day. So the, you can imagine the laundry is piling. And I love laundry. I love laundry. Ask anybody who knows me. I love doing laundry. I do it every day. If I'm at someone else's house, I will offer to do your laundry. But man, it is getting to me. Two showers a day times three people. Imagine the laundry pile up. So today I felt like literally staying home for a few hours and wearing a sweatshirt. Do you guys like it by the way? Oh yeah, rocking my favorite show, 90210. And sadly, it has been over the one year anniversary of Dylan McKay, so it's a perfect night to don it. And a lot of you who know me know I do not wear sweatshirts. I don't wear a sweatshirt in public. I don't wear a sweatshirt around my house, but I was like, oh, I have to have this. I mean. 90210, hot pink, you know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those nights. Cheers to not having to get dressed up. Cheers to actually starting to enjoy my sweatshirt. And you know what, a lot of you at home, do any of you have a brand new like cozy item, like whether it be leggings or a sweatshirt or even a cozy long sleeve shirt that you haven't even worn yet? I mean, I bought so much new spring things, like literally, I got the best deal on this sweatshirt and it was brand new. It's brand new. I've never even worn it. And I was like, oh my God, I can actually wear it during quarantine. Oh, so cheers to new Epic sweatshirts. I'm kind of getting into this at home thing. 
It's a little cozy. Sip a little bourbon by the candlelight, you know? So, a lot of you think I'm just vodka, but bourbon is actually one of my favorite drinks. I can't even tell you how I got into it. I never, a lot of you cringe, I know, I've tried to present bourbon to a lot of my friends before and they're like, how do you drink that? Like seriously, they, they can't even smell it. I'm like, oh, just take one little sip, it's so good. And they can't even do it. But being in the heat is when I actually got introduced to it. And a lot of people, especially a lot of men I know, um, they liked bourbon in the winter because it you know, warms your soul. But I actually, my mother actually introduced it to me in the summer on a hot summer day in Maine. I'll never forget it actually. I come home from Portland where I used to work and, uh, for the weekend and literally she has these giant whole, like real whole 100% organic cherries soaking in, I think it was bourbon. I think it was just straight bourbon. Yeah, in the refrigerator, like a jar. And I'm like, what are these? You know, I think back then I was only like 22 years old. I mean, I barely actually drank back then, but Oh my God, I'll never forget it. So I walk in, I'm like, what are these? And she was out on the deck and she goes, oh, those are my new secret ingredient. I go, for what? I was like, cherries don't go to martini. And she's like, cause I was excited to get home on the road, you're at two and a half hours to have a martini with my mom on the deck. And so literally she's like, you want me to make you one? And I go, literally just like this, you want me to make you one? And I go, sure, you know, whatever. And she goes, it's bourbon. And I go, bourbon? I was like, ew, I'm not drinking that. Like, no, oh my God. Who, what 22 year old girl drinks bourbon? I mean, I, there is a difference. Side note, I think there's a difference between bourbon and whiskey. But anyway, so I was like, okay, fine. I'll try it, whatever. So she gives me one, we sat on the deck and she goes, now you have to sip. So you, you put it on ice and then you sip it. And actually the first sip, I was like, this is so good. So I actually raise a glass and thank my mother that I am a well-rounded enough female that I can drink bourbon. Now, a lot of people drink old fashions a lot more to it, like a muddled cherry, a muddled orange peel, and a splash of soda on top. And if you want to know the correct way to make an old fashioned, I can teach you that. But this is the Cortini easy old fashioned, the way I showed you earlier. And look, I just wanted to show you. My rock candy has not melted. No, I don't eat the rock candy and no, I don't suck it by any means. It just sits in the drink and you stir, you sip, you have your ambiance. I mean, it's just, it's just wonderful. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but the cherries are called Bada Bing. Now Bada Bing cherries are a gourmet cherry um, that actually one of my best friends, Sue, taught me. Thank God, cheers to you, Sue, because it has changed my life. A lot of people are like, oh, I can't, you know, like the people I was like, oh, I cannot drink bourbon. But if you make it correctly, yes, even the cherry juice affects the taste of the drink. Now, a lot of you guys probably aren't that picky about your bourbon brands, but um, I use Bullet tonight and I actually just tried Bullet for the first time like two years ago. It was very good. But usually, you know, when I want to pinch some pennies because I don't drink bourbon every night by any means, it's a special occasion just for you guys in the sweatshirts. I, if you want to pinch your pennies, um, Maker's Mark is actually a really good inexpensive bourbon. I actually tried to try a new bourbon tonight that my friend gave me an idea to try, but they didn't make it. So if you want to pinch your pennies, try Maker's Mark. If you want to treat yourself a little bit, maybe a little bullet, maybe a little, um, my friend who recommended the cherries suggested blends. Very hard to find, very limited batch. Um, what other are some good ones? Oh my God. So when I was in, oh my God. So when I first moved to Florida, I literally, you know, cause I told you I got introduced in the heat, not the winter. So I actually only want bourbon in the summer and the early fall. But, um, I started drinking Evan Williams bourbon and actually that's not bad. I mean, I was like drinking it and then I switched to, what's that one I cannot do? Rach, what's that one I can't do? I know, did you forget to? Oh God, that one I can't do anymore. Oh, Jim Beam. Oh my, Rachel knows. No Jim Beam for me. Man, my boys used to love it. Love it. My brothers, my dad, people. Oh my God. 
my best friend's husbands, all the people that we used to hang out with, they love, they love Jim Beam. I, however, can't handle it anymore. So, cheers. Please try bourbon. And those of you who mix it, I know somebody, oh my God. So I know a woman that cannot do bourbon at all or whiskey, but man, she can mix it and make it a hot toddy, I think it's called. I think she mixes it with something else and then she can drink that. Feeling fine. So how was everybody's week? Are you all surviving? How's the quarantine going? Oh man. I mean, I'm, I'm just exhausted. I mean, like I'm a good exhausted though. I mean, how many of you, I'm sure you're all dealing with real life problems, finances, family, kids, but I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me because I miss hanging out with you. I had a good idea today. Everybody should think of one person that they miss seeing. Like literally somebody that they would have seen by now and write their name. If you follow me on Facebook or if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you can post like, well, on Facebook, you can, I think it's a little easier, but think of me tonight and put their name of somebody you miss on Facebook. You can even comment on my um, business page if you want, Cortini on Facebook, and just say the name of the person and tell them why you miss them or what you wish you were doing with them. My person tonight, this week, is my friend Sue. The one that I told you recommended me the cherry juice and man, so I would be with her right now in Venice, Florida, hanging out, probably sipping a little nightcap of bourbon, having a martini. So Sue, I miss you. And I will do it on my Facebook tonight. But um, yeah, times are getting a little, this is lasting a little longer than a lot of people thought. But um, I know a lot of family and friends have people that they want, they are missing or you know, loved ones that they're worried about. So please just take a second tonight and put somebody you miss not sad miss, doesn't have to be sad, but somebody that like brings you joy and write their name on Facebook, just so they know. They, I bet you it's shocking how much joy it would bring them. But Sue, I miss you, I love you. I hope you're loving my rockin' sweatshirt. I hope all of you at home put on sweatshirts tonight. I didn't even think of that, I'm sorry. Literally, I hope, I mean, I have a lot of sweatshirts that like have martinis, but you know, I felt like wearing this one. Oh man. What are you guys having for dinner tonight? I have no idea. I mean, I cook every night for my family. I love it. After my cocktail hour, of course, of course. Probably a lot of you have had dinner already, but I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. I mean, I'm just exhausted. <laughs> I'm literally exhausted. Those of you who are exhausted, you guys can feel the pain tonight. But um, I hope you're enjoying my little cocktails with Cortini. Hope you're not feeling alone. Hope you're having fun. Wear your sweatshirts. Make a theme night. Keep doing the theme nights like I said last week. And if anybody has any hints for dinner, please help me. Because I don't feel like cooking. I feel like sipping my bourbon in my sweatshirt. So it was good to see you all. Thank you for joining me. And next week, let's talk about the exciting news, huh? The big news that it's kind of the elephant in the room. Oh yeah, Gronk and Brady back together. I think they're sipping bourbon together right now. Cheers. <laughs>